Welcome to the ultra successful PhD application video series. This video has been brought to you by the experts of .NET. The process of applying for PhD at any university throughout the world is a difficult and cumbersome process. You need to know the exact steps which should be followed for a successful result of a PhD application. Through this video series, you will learn the exactly same tactics and tricks which I used for getting my PhD application approved and to earn my PhD. Before we proceed any further, we should take a look at what is a PhD. PhD is the highest degree in most of the countries throughout the world. Once you have done masters, you are eligible to apply for PhD. PhD is also known as doctorate. This is not much advertised as compared to the bachelor's and master's programs of universities. It is a research-based program where students do research on a given topic and once they are finished with the research, they write a thesis. On the basis of those theses, they are awarded the doctor's degree. It often surprises me that still a large number of people don't even know about PhD. They don't know uh, what is a PhD. That might be true because I have also gone through the same thing. When I used to study at bachelor's level, I always used to think uh, don't call me dumb, but <laughs> still, I used to think that the professor of mathematics, why does he use doctor before his name? If he has studied medicine, then why is he teaching mathematics? I always wondered that, man. But now I know that. Why do they teach? Why do they put doctor before their name? Once I learned about PhD, my confusions about the mathematics professors putting doctor before their name was solved. Then when I applied for my own PhD and I started my research, I learned that the medical doctors are not proper doctors. Don't be amazed. But it is true. The medical doctors are given an honorary title of doctor, but they are not proper doctors. I knew that when during my PhD I came in contact with a doctor who said that you are going to be a proper doctor. That was amazing for me. I never knew that the doctors, the medical doctors, they are not doctors. So, how this video series would help you? This video series is focused on helping you to make your PhD application successful. The first of all, the first thing is that I have also gone through the experience of obtaining a PhD and I know what it requires to apply and get your application approved for research at any university. I also know how to study for PhD, how to do research for PhD. 
through this video series i would be guiding you throughout the process of obtaining a phd but before that we will see if a phd is right for you phd is not for everyone we will see that in the future videos if you should go for phd or some other thing what this video series won't do is that it would not teach you how to study and what to study for your phd because each phd varies with the subject and the project what the main purpose of this video series is to guide you through the application process the application process i will guide you through this process and this process includes first of all choosing a university and a supervising professor i will help you find one the next thing would be helping you to choose the right project for your phd phd also cost money you would face burden of fees which you have to pay to university to continue your research i will tell you where to find the funding for your tuition fee the distinction of this video series would be the secrets of highly acclaimed phd's to make your application successful i will tell you those secrets which the phd's have used to get their application approved that includes me as well thank you for watching